Ik heb het ook gefilmd. Ik wil net op Een mandje vol maken. Ja, we gaan het mondje vol maken, denk ik. Hello everyone and welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. So we're well into tomato season. The, the cherry tomatoes that I planted uh, are, are coming in very well. Um, I planted two types, a golden nugget and an Italian variety that's supposed to be good for drying. So we've been picking those and they're very good to eat anyway, but there are so many as I have planned that we need to start drying them. So that's our little project for this week. While picking, I did see that some of the tomatoes are starting to get some blight. Uh, being that it's only the end of July and we could easily keep them until the September. I wanna keep them alive, not have them die from all the blight. So I've been trimming them as well. And then I wanna spray them with a baking soda solution as well. Uh, because I read on the internet that, that is how you keep it at bay. So that's what we're gonna do now. As you can see, these leaves don't look too good. The plant itself still looks pretty healthy, as do most. Um, so I'm hoping we can keep it at bay and keep the tomatoes going for a while. But as Pick is demonstrating right now, we'll be cutting off those leaves and then getting a spray for them. So we have picked quite a few tomatoes. We have this whole thing, this whole thing, and a whole nother tomato in the fridge. So we're gonna start cutting them in half. And then I cleaned some crates. So we're gonna put them in there, put some mosquito netting over them and um, let them dry for a, a couple days maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. The video I watched for this was very informative. If you uh, Google oh? 
sun dried tomatoes you get a bunch of recipes for in the in the oven which is um, a little bit weird to me but then I found this video by this Italian guy uh, that was very informative so we're gonna do it his way I'll link it in the description box down below if you want to try it and uh, yeah let's get going with my lovely assistant yeah very good Ik ga die eerst maar snijden. Kijk, je moet ze zo snijden. Ja. Uh, zo. We gaan alleen door de helft doen. So we have three cases now. Oh, the bee's interested. I'm gonna put over some mosquito netting just to keep creatures off. And I put it on the washing rack just to keep it off the ground. So this is after about 24 hours, they're looking pretty good, I think they need another day. Doei aan de kant. Ga weg. Okay, this is day three, I think, of drying. I got a little busy with editing, so I haven't really checked on them much. I think I'm gonna put them all together on a baking tray, salt them a little bit and then dry them for another day and then Tomorrow we can do, we can put them in oil. But as you can see, from quite a lot of tomatoes, 
not much is left but it's it smells very sweet so that's kind of nice From what I understand, I kind of saw in the video that I mentioned, they need to be a little bit hard. Um, the bigger tomatoes, like those, are still a little bit um, squishy, so they still have some moisture in them. Um, salting them should help with that as well, um, but they definitely need some more time. I don't have another baking tray, so I'm just gonna put some tin foil in this tray. And then we'll see if that helps with the drying. Put the netting back over. And then we wait some more. All right, guess where we are? <laughs> the garden. Um, I said earlier in this video that I was gonna spray the tomatoes with a baking soda solution because I had seen some blight on them. After that, I didn't actually do that because for some reason it was super windy for a couple days and then I thought spraying something wouldn't really work. So we're back, the blight is still there sadly. I see some new spots, I'm just gonna leave them for now because I don't have that much time before it gets dark. Excuse me, Louis being noisy. Uh, we, we picked the last good batch of tomatoes and I'm gonna spray them with my new sprayer. This is two liters and then with about a tablespoon of uh, baking soda, food grade, just baking soda because that's what Google told me to do. So that's what we're going to do now and then uh, we'll see how that goes.
quick little side note before we continue with the tomatoes. I want on this channel I want to share everything that's going well as well as the things that are not going so well in the garden. I think the tomatoes are still going well, but there's obviously a little bit of struggle as you can see this week. Uh, and I want to share all of that because um, I feel like some gardening channels only show what's going super amazing and gardening is so easy and you just put a bunch of compost down and then you can grow food and it, that's it. And I feel like that's not very encouraging for people who are starting and maybe have a little bit of uh, a hard time doing things as I'm only uh, in my third second third year of growing um i want to show it all so that hopefully it encourages you to also try to grow some food even if it's just some parsley in your windowsill or maybe uh like one of you said i'm gonna plant some peas the next time i can um and that's very exciting to me so i want to share all of that and encourage you to um just try uh and maybe it'll fail and maybe it will go amazing uh, but if you don't try you don't know if you can actually do it so now back to the tomatoes <laughs> okay this is after five days of drying they're dried none of them are squishy anymore and now I'm just yeah thank you Albuk. now I'm just gonna follow the Italian guy's recipe boil it them in some water with vinegar and then start putting them in the jars oh 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 there
So I think the tomatoes are growing well, uh, all in all, and the drying is going well. We're already on our second batch that is dry now, and then today I'm going to slice some more so uh, that I can dry them. But this is only the beginning of the tomatoes. We're eating fresh tomatoes every day uh, and the bigger tomatoes are starting to come in now. Um, I'm kind of still debating if I want to do sauce because we don't have a pressure cooker, canner. Um, and from my research, there's a lot of debate around if it's enough to just boil the tomato sauce after you've put it put it in the jar so I'm still debating that um, other things that I want to do though is try to ferment some tomatoes as well as make a tomato chutney which should both be possible without a canner so that's what I'm gonna try at least in the coming weeks and if you have any suggestions of other things that I should do with the tomatoes do let me know if there is anything you would like me to show in any upcoming video do also let me know in the comments and other than that you can find our patreon paypal p.o box all that stuff in the description box down below and finally i never say this but don't forget to subscribe and also click on the little bell emoticon so that you could notify every time we put out a new video which is usually on sunday morning anyway that's it for this week and i hope to see you next week